This video shows how to highlight the entire row or a predefined length of the row based on the active cell. So I open up Excel. There's currently only the cell that's being clicked that's selected. If you don't have the developer tab visible, just click on File, Options, Customize Ribbon, and here's the main tabs. Just tick the developer tab and OK. So click on developer tab and then open Visual Basic. Double click on the sheet that you want to use. And change the general then to worksheet. And then on the event menu, select selection change. So I made it a bit smaller. So just type the following code. With this workbook, dot names, and I'm going to choose a, a variable that I'm going to set shortly, which is highlight row. If you don't know what a variable is, it's basically a bucket and we reference the bucket, whatever is in the bucket, our actions are applied to. Dot name equals highlight row. Dot refers to R1C1 equals the equal sign in quotes and active cell dot row then end with so that's the code and we can close that now we're going to set the conditional formatting create a new rule and select use a formula to determine which cells to format and then the text for the formula is equal row a1 in brackets equals highlight row and then set the formatting that you want it to change to in this case i want to go for a nice bright yellow okay let's just double check that so go to manage rules and you can see that the applies to field has still got text in it. So I'm going to change that so that I've got a range of cells and rows that the formula is going to apply to. I'll choose A1 through to R and let's go down to row 10. It's only going to apply in those 10 rows. Let's just double check that range. Still got the E6 cell added at the end, so let's get rid of that. And apply, OK. Just ignore the error because it's there because I haven't defined the variable yet. So let's do that now. So click on Formula, Name Manager, click New, enter the variable name which was Highlight Row. Then it refers to equals one. And as you can see, it's still not quite right. It's working, but it's not. It's highlighting the wrong rows. So let's check the conditional formatting. Go to manage rules. Let's change to the this worksheet instead of the current row. And the applies to cell is fine. But the row that's being selected for the formula is totally wrong. So let's just change that back to A1. Apply and OK. Now when I click on the cell, the entire row is being selected. And what's good about doing it this way is if you've already got some color formatting in place, this method does not remove that formula. It doesn't replace it. Uh, let's put some color in there and some borders. There you go. 
How good is that? Thanks for watching. Hope you found the video useful. If you did, please tell others. Please like and subscribe. And if you want to be notified when I upload future videos, smash that bell icon.